lovely to meet you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So, as you can tell, I've, I've never had a lady's maid. And so I wanted to meet you before you were officially hired. And I hope that, um, that this will help me decide if, if I truly need a, a maid or not. What? Oh, uh, I do live in a grand manner, yes, but I have not always been so wealthy. You know, I, I was a poor farmer's daughter. Um, yes, um, my mother and I were in town one day and my now husband saw me and, I mean, it's, it's history, really. We're, we get along wonderfully. Um, the age difference is a bit strange. I mean, he is 62. Um, very mature, but that's all right. Um, oh, we get along great, and I just, I really, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to being so fabulously wealthy, but I love it. Yes. Um, well, I'll ask you some questions. So, how are you with hair? Yes. Oh, fabulous. Um... What about uh, dressing others? Okay, so you have been a lady's maid, so you know these things. Okay, um, are you good with fashion? Fabulous. So I do have a question for you, since you said you are a fashion expert. Um, oh, not expert. You know, you're much better than me, I'm sure. You've been working with the wealthy for quite some time. Yes, so, um, this gown I'm wearing now, it is apparently, according to my new friends, um, it's very fashionable. But I am worried that they are lying. Yes. Well, uh, it's, it's kind of a strange style. I've never seen anything so fine. My, my mother actually decorated the sleeves and, oh, don't lift my skirt. Right, I, I forget all the time. Um, I'll show you the back then so you won't see my legs. Um, she decorated this and really, um, it's a lovely pattern, but is it, is it in style? It is okay. okay, they didn't lie. Wonderful. I really love it. So I'm glad that it's not out of style. Surely it will be soon, but oh well. Do you know that I have three other dresses now? I've never had so many readily available. Yes, well, one was from back home, so I'm not allowed to wear it because it is a poor farmer's girl outfit and my husband forbids it. Of course, I will obey him, so I, I don't wear it. But the other is um, from the town, yes, from village. And um, it's a lovely village, yes. I, I've never been anywhere so big before. Um, and that's where I got that dress um, from a dressmaker there. And my last dress is actually from my late husband's my husband's late wife. Excuse me. Um, I want my husband to live a very long time. I know that he's old, but I didn't mean to say that. He he's lovely, and he has made me very wealthy. So, yes, as you can understand, I I want him to stay healthy and hopefully not get the plague like his wife did, his other wife. So, um, I have her old dress. It, it's a bit strange. Um, <laughs> uh, speaking of that, um, do you know how to mend? Yes, her dress is quite old, so it does need a little bit of mending, um, here and there. Okay, wonderful. And how are you with cosmetics. Oh, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I was worried because 
See, my husband does not agree with cosmetics, and so I can't get them in town. I, I'm not allowed to go to town without him. And so acquiring cosmetics is horribly difficult. So I would like you to help me get them and apply them in a way that is so subtle he will not recognize that I'm wearing it. You can, okay, wonderful. I'm sure you've helped many ladies in this way. Fabulous. So, I, um, I'll need you in the morning to basically just come in and I'll have you draw me um, just a bit of water in a bowl. Just bring me some water and I will wash my face. Um, hold the towel for me so that I can, you know, put my face in it. Um, that's what my friend said her maid does for her. And then I suppose you could bring me tea. Yeah? Okay. And do my hair and get me dressed. And if I am ever out of this perfume, my husband bought it for me. Um, actually, it's the same bottle that his late wife used, but she had a different scent. I told him, I told him I respect you, of course, um, but I cannot wear the same perfume that your other wife did. It is, it is horribly strange and it made me very uncomfortable. So he went into town that day and bought me my own scent. I know, isn't it? Well, oh, do, do you want to smell it? Of course, of course. Yes, okay. I'm sorry, I've, I've never seen glass before. Not until I moved here. All right, so. Oh, you didn't want it on you? Well, no, my husband won't realize you're wearing my perfume. I'll tell him he's... He's not going to think you're stealing. Doesn't it? It smells divine. I just love it. It's like rose petals melting in honey. That's what it smells like. So, um, I guess later in the day, I do like to retire to my room. I won't be needing you until around noon time anyways, again. So I would like you, while I am out of the room, to bring me a vase of flowers. I like the vases changed out every day. I actually got this one for myself today. And these are quite old flowers, but I haven't had time to go find any more. Never pick the flowers from the grounds or the gardens always go into the forest or go into the village and buy flowers or pick wild flowers like i said from the forest watch out for wolves of course of course and also um watch out for scavengers villains um thieves just be very very cautious but i must have these every morning aren't they really any white flower will do or yellow flower I love yellow and if it's not the season for those sorts of flowers um really any will do I'm not too picky yes all right that's fabulous as well you are so easy to get along with yes all right well during the day you're not I'm not gonna have a whole lot to do since I won't require your assistance because I get up during the day, I eat breakfast with my husband, um, then I retire to my room um, in the afternoon um, and do some reading, some sewing, some stitching, and then I, um, I go out to town with him usually or to church. Yes. So, 
while we're gone, I would really love it if you did the candlesticks. So really what I want you to do is dust them all off and after you're done, after you're done dusting them, all you have to do is take a wet cloth and wipe around the inside and it'll get it all clean and ready for the next candle. And just make sure there's no wax dripping down it or anything like that. Yes. All right, so I really wish I knew how to tie these. I thought I tied them correctly. Do you want to try? Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, much better. And the other arm. Thank you so much. Oh, it's it's much, much better, yes. So, um, how did you become a lady's maid, if I may ask? Yes? Okay, so, um, no one teaches you. Oh, the head maid. Um, I don't, I don't have a head maid. I suppose you could be the head maid if you want. Uh, we have a milkmaid and uh, a cook. Um, oh, the housekeeper. Um, oh, okay. So if she's the head of the maids, um, oh my, <laughs> see the housekeeper, I hate to tell you, but she, well, she died along with um, the late wife, she also contracted the plague, so I suppose we'll have to hire another one of those as well. Oh no, there's no more plague in the house. Um, there was for quite some time and things were looking a bit dicey. I wasn't sure if perhaps I would get it, um, but I didn't, so I do wish that I had known about it before I moved in and married my husband. But he is an old man, like I said, and he forgets things, so I can't really blame him for that, can I? No, all right. You understand. Yes, he's made me fabulously wealthy. I'm sure I've said that. I'm just so excited to be part of the higher class, you know? Like, I thought I would always be poor, and many people... They truly hate my husband because he married me. Um, they call me lots of things, um, derogatory terms that I shall not mention because I no longer speak that way. Um, I get yelled at in the village, yes. Oh, no, oh, thank you. Um, I did want to make sure that you weren't one of those people and that you would not judge me. <laughs> so I, I'm so happy that that you're understanding. Yes. Well, um, that's really all we have time for today. Um, in my room, at least. Uh, I really do need to get on down to breakfast. Um, you can eat in the kitchen, and when we're done, I will bring you back up to my room and show you what I do. And when we go to town, like I said, just do some dusting here and there, really get the candlesticks clean. And then that night, I will show you what I do to prepare myself for bed so that you can do that for me. So I really think we will have a long and wonderful friendship and partnership. Um, of course, I am not hiring you. My husband is. <laughs> I love him. But he will definitely um, talk to you later on if I like you. And uh, I can't see anything going wrong, so I think you're hired. I think you will be. Yes, of course. All right, well, um, come on, let's go then.